May 2012, Western Myanmar. A Buddhist woman is raped and murdered. The authorities charge three Muslim men. A week later, 10 Muslims were murdered in a revenge attack. What happened next was hidden from the outside world. This is a story of a people fleeing the land where they were born of a people deprived of citizenship in their homeland. It is the story of the Rohingya of Western Myanmar, whose very existence as a people is denied. No Rohingya people in history. It is fabricated history, concocted history, just only fictitious history. Some believe it is a deliberate attempt to end the Rohingya's existence as a people. Denying their history, denying the legitimacy of their right to live where they live, these are all warning signs that mean that it's not frivolous to envisage the use of the term genocide. For centuries, this region of Western Myanmar was known as Arakan. It was renamed Rakhine by the state's largest racial group. The Rakhine trace their identity to a complex of ancient Buddhist temples and monasteries at Ro'u. For nearly four centuries, it served as the capital of an independent Rakhine kingdom. It was from here that Buddhism first spread throughout Myanmar. Today, Rakhine state lies on Myanmar's western coast, and its northern tip borders Bangladesh. Around one million Buddhist Rakhine and 800,000 Muslim Rohingya live here. Britain invaded what was then called Burma in 1824. For half a century, it was governed as a province of British India. The colonial administration brought Muslims from what is now Bangladesh to work in Rakhine state. Many settled and were resented by the Buddhist majority. The Rakhine consider themselves a distinct race, separate from the majority Burmese. They call the Rohingya Bengalis and consider them illegal immigrants, even those whose forefathers settled here generations ago. Yunnan Darbatar is a prominent monk in the state capital, Sitwe. He believes the Muslim Rohingya are not just a threat to the Rakhine, but to Myanmar's Buddhist identity. The Rohingya do not accept the naming of Rakhine state. They call it Arakan. They claim roots that go back centuries to early Muslim settlers in the region. For generations, the two communities have lived parallel lives. For half a century, Myanmar lived under various forms of military dictatorship. 
In 2010, Aung San Suu Kyi, the symbol of resistance to military rule, was released after nearly two decades of house arrest. She won a seat in Myanmar's parliament following free and open elections. But democracy has not brought universal freedom. In Rakhine state, it's unleashed a new patriotism. A Rakhine nationalist party became the largest in the state assembly. What happened in May 2012 sparked a chain of events that has scarred Myanmar's nascent democracy. Our story begins in a Buddhist town where Rohingya are rarely seen. The Myanmar state media reported that three Muslim men had entered a Rakhine neighborhood and raped and murdered a 27-year-old Buddhist woman. The short life of Ma Tida Twe was to ignite a tinderbox. On the next morning in the state capital, Sitwe, the Rakhine Nationalist Party was holding its inaugural conference. News of the rape spread through the hall. Delegates were outraged. Their party leader, Dr. A. Mong, claimed the assault had political overtones. Graphic images of Ma Tida Twe's corpse circulated on the internet. Whispers spread amongst Rakhine that the rape was part of a Rohingya plot. Two hundred kilometers from Sitwe, near where the rape occurred, is Tongu, a town with a reputation for being fiercely anti Muslim. No Muslim, no Bengali living in that town because the town people, town folk, don't allow any Bengali to come in. But on Sunday evening, a bus carrying 10 Muslim men did attempt to travel through Tongu. The bus was stopped by a mob of around 300 people. <laughs> In the northern town of Mongdor, where over 90% of the population is Rohingya, there was foreboding when they heard the news. Nor Hakim sold clothes at a market stall. So below yare, our head dasi gya guri kolai. Mongdu maze so bi divalai diri ya computer tu mani maria so bi aga ura supply gure di kolai. Muslim man hotu majjori the mani ara hard asira dikki tar por video CD bari gure di kolai ya ara CD ma sayi. So nor por ara bichi sinta guri. Aavu mage ke na ara re ara Muslim man re engine gorad de bolio yare. Jo magi yare thara la maishi basa bichi gya koru. Ho ko mathe bisar gori bo gori bo. It was the first Friday prayers since the murder of the pilgrims. The Rohingya planned to protest. The Rakhine ordered mosques to close. Hamid Jamil lived in a village just outside of Mongdor. Moluko Moluke, Bagonzana, Divali, Musulman, Nalujogoi, Ehon, Jumahito, no, de Henho, no Zuria, Ba, de Manush, Musulman, Bagunalogi, Zalachia, man, me, a piano, Mauroma. Through a Lajani, Balitame, Baliga Sinana, 
Many imams ignored the government order to close mosques. Attending prayers at the Juma Mosque in Mongdor was Aman Mahmoud. After prayers, hundreds of Rohingya men gathered in the town center and marched toward a Rakhine district. Asina Siddiq watched from a house on Mongdor's main street. It's not clear whether these pictures were taken before the shooting or were a response to it. But sometime Friday afternoon, the anger of the Rohingya in Mongdor boiled over. Dozens of Rakhine houses were targeted and set ablaze. But what happened next was not simply a clash between two ethnic groups. One side was armed with guns. By late afternoon, the policy of the security forces was to shoot to kill. The number of deaths is difficult to verify. Bodies were removed by the authorities. The violence soon spread from Mongdor. In a village about 20 kilometers away, Zahid Alam ran the only Rohingya-owned store in the market. He'd sent his son to get supplies in Sitwe and was alone in the shop. Zahid Alam had taken refuge in a mosque near his shop. Then a platoon of border guards arrived. They are known by the Burmese acronym Nasaka. The Nasaka are a feared military detachment that was set up to control the Rohingya. They opened fire. Nasakara, rather sharp not at the gas, a barada was in the Gulli Salasilo. Exoron was in the Gulli Salasilo, automatic at the Gulli Salasilo. Automatic at the Gulli Salasilo are large Gulla Porigasa. Monogoranze Kisu Rastat, Kisu Mosutir Pashe, Kisuda Se, E Danir Kete. The authorities began to detain large numbers of Rohingya men. Manuduru Lajari, Lajari, the Horror of Lajari, the Horror of the Manishari, the Manizat the Lana, the Billion, the Lajari, the Limiguri. In the morning, Janat Ara was tending her crops. Chukwari Jawa there. According to medical records, Janat was raped by more than 20 men. 
By Friday night, news of the events in Mongdor spread to the state capital, Sitwe. Mohammed Islam, his wife Anwara, and their extended family were living in a village on the outskirts of town. As tensions rose, family members got together, including Mohammed's brother and his 12-year-old daughter, Minara. The Rakhine say Rohingya men were congregating in order to confront them. During the night, a firestorm swept through the township. By 8 a.m., Mohammed Islam and local Rohingya men had spent the night in a tense standoff with a group of Rakhine. Then Nasaka border guards arrived. Mohammed's niece, Minara, was with her cousins. In the chaos, they couldn't find their parents. Meanwhile, Anwara's husband, Mohammed Islam, had fled the massacre in the mosque. <laughs> Anwara was with her three brothers as the flames advanced on their house. Dubai 
Anwara's mother and two remaining brothers were now back at their house. The youngest then insisted on going out to fight. Sharharat bola pola guli majje, guli bola sakhain guri majje. Ite maako dua majje. Ma itar daam beshi guli majje, guli majje ra hai maak mari hale mori thayi ma hai. Ite ma itar akhat mahari tin saaj jana dar han dar na guri galai. Ute bola hota atar bad dashon ayen arba ayor akhain guri mari galai. Ay hai baadi itar gya ma to guli mari di galai. Ay ko to guli mari itar bola inti ay ko to guli mari inti ni alam alay dar maak ma te bolu gyan ma. मारी खेला था से मुंशी जो थे आम था वो आर्द आर्म था था गाड़ी दुनिया लेता था एक्चुअल तेज़ शे गाड़ी एक गाड़ी दुनिया लेता एक्चुअल तेज़ शे आये बाद था से गुली करो गुली करो मौके ही मारे मारे ही मारे गुली मारे आरे ही मारे बाद मच्छर मच्छर था से मारे था से दो आमारों को बिल मारे था स most Rohingya, who once made up half the population, are no longer here. Thousands of homes were destroyed. While the overwhelming majority were Rohingya, many Rakhine were also made homeless. Rakhine nationalists claim the Rohingya were responsible not only for burning Rakhine houses, but also for destroying their own districts. In Mongdo, the clampdown after the Rohingya rioting was brutal. Janat Aras or a kind civilians join the security forces on a rampage. Gorfurai di felaiye, duana kal furai di felaiye, tay duana mala kal loot kuri felaiye, beshi beshi fushe mala kal. Taka wazar gura gura hoi na kal gura gura miala hoi na kal. Dila guli mari 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 felaiye the dikhi. Inu gua manu jana dana ho, rayar beko head fullot tole beko um felastic hala felastic kal. Nur Hakim had gone into hiding. He took refuge in an empty house. It overlooked a bridge, and from there he could see a small outpost manned by security forces. दूसरा जनता के दिन दिक्कत कर कैंप हुआ थे, माने से कूस और दिक्कत आ रही है, यानी बीरी सोर्ट हाल ही आने। Over the next three days, he observed the outpost, too afraid to flee. गारे तू तारा मिलिट्री ओको ले लूटिंग ले मिलिट्री ले लामादे आने दो सो के दिक्की मौगोरी फोर फोरे शाट्टर आट्टर आट्टर फोरे दिक्की दी। ऐड एंड दिक्की को लाइज वाला � By late afternoon, several members of the Islam family had fled to the coastal village of Bogadia, just outside Sitwe. Mohammed told his niece that they should leave for Bangladesh. 
It was in the coastal village of Bogadia that Anwara finally found her husband. Hamid Jamil had remained in his house since Friday. Then a unit of Nasaka border guards arrived at his door. After begging for his life, he was thrown into an open yard. Nearby in Mongdor, Janat Ara was forced to leave the town's hospital due to the unrest. Relatives told her to flee to a better equipped facility across the border. Myanmar and Bangladesh are separated at their southernmost border by the Naf River. The headquarters of the Rakhine border forces, the Nasaka, lies on its banks. Within a month, thousands of refugees crossed here, mostly during the night. The refugees bribed the Nasaka border guards, who are then prepared to allow the Rohingya to flee to Bangladesh. People smugglers ensure they avoid Bangladesh border guards. The Islam family had not paid smugglers and faced the peril
Id Alam and his family were at home, trying to contact their son, who'd been to Sitwe to pick up supplies for the family shop. A friend then telephoned. He'd had word from Zahid's son. Our father told us that we were in the same place, 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 we were in the same place. A man, Mahmoud, had spent the night in a police cell in Mongdor. Hamid Jamil was still recovering from his injuries and staying with friends in a village near his home, but it offered no sanctuary. On Monday afternoon, Nasaka border guards and police arrived. <laughs> Villagers fled toward a nearby creek. a man Mahmoud would soon be released after family members paid a bribe. Others were less fortunate. Karatir bi tere sozon manish murda. Sab gari mani ed mani mo murda mora niyala ye. Tere murda niyala yera hin hode niye bi thara. Murda re niyala yera thara dasi shada phada dil shada phada mat engre thajan. Dujne duda uto dure 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 niyala yera khonke niye ko khonya mari. Adi banga prayi thara re ham ajude. Eder mata phada yasi. Hamid Jamil had witnessed the death of 35 people. They were buried secretly at night. I nije baje khobar sang mai nije gii nije zayaro baad ya khono aar ya kana gushya khono head ya khono maragesan ne bolia ra nije gii ko nije zayaro saad ya kana gushi na fore nije rande de bondu banda fo manush thara. Maragese. Marazayaro Manushin Eko Ganta Maje Gant Kuriaro Manushin Biagundon Nizibaze I Ashila. We cannot independently verify everything the Rohingya refugees told Al Jazeera. We were unable to work freely or enter parts of Rakhine State. But their testimony is detailed and compelling. After the violence in June, many of those who didn't flee abroad are now in camps on the outskirts of Sitwe. Their movement is restricted. They have become refugees in their own country. In this village north of Sitwe, Rohingya must not go beyond the nearby road. Men are not allowed to work in fields or women shop in the markets. In 
In Sitwe, only one enclave remained for Rohingya, called Ongmingalar. They are fenced in and cannot leave. They too cannot work or buy food. Their future is uncertain. Ong Win, like most here, was born and brought up in Sitwe. We are the native of this country, you know. We are not the migrated people from Bangladesh. Where can you go? No, I do not want to. I will die here, ready to die. We are the people. Rakhine nationalists dispute the Rohingya's claims of abuse. They have another explanation as to why so many thousands have left their homes and possessions and fled to camps. There is a common belief amongst the Rakhine that the outside world has been tricked by Rohingya refugees. Rakhine nationalists claim the Rohingya have concocted a massive deception in order to discredit the Rakhine and ultimately seize power. Tomorrow, we'll see the card. ဖြစ်ဖန်တီးတာပေါ့เนาะဟိုဒါကတော့ကျွန်တော်ထင်ပါတယ်ရေရေချက်တို့လေးဒီဒီမှာရှိမှာပါကျွန်တော်တို့
you know, he called uh, all other RNDP party members from uh, Tango, Pungna, Juan, Rau. They all were gathered here and I started the, the killing. Do you think he's responsible for the killing? Yes, he's the only one person for uh, you, you killing our uh, arts ranger people. I can challenge him in front of him face to face. I can prove him. Then I'm not lying the wall. You will take my picture and my interview to show the wall. I'm not lying the wall. In July, Dr. A. Mong and the RNDP released a statement demanding that Bengali people should be relocated to suitable places in order not to reside or mix with Rakhines. General <laughs> กุนาโลยานโลมุงดีไซเลมชิบาโอกุมิเอกุเดตาเดตันไคมีบีกามาโนกุโรเยตาวันตะคุตะไมมาตวนจันพุเบจูซานิดาบาอะโรปิบากาน
I'm always cautious about, about sort of cavalier use of the term because it, it does suffer from a great deal of rather extravagant use of the term precisely because of its potential as a word to, to get people's attention. But I don't think that there's much difficulty in, in asserting that in the case of the Rohingya, that we're moving into a zone where, where the word can be used. When you see measures preventing births, trying to deny the identity of a people, uh, hoping to see that they really are eventually, that they no longer exist, denying their, uh, denying their history, denying the legitimacy of their right to live where they live, these are all warning signs that mean that it's not frivolous to envisage the use of the term genocide. So what do you, what do, you do with the, the people? 800,000, maybe more. What do you do with them? It's a very difficult question. It's a de very delicate problem. I know everybody has human rights. Human rights is there. They must have human rights. But sometimes we have to realize that the constitution and national sovereignty sometimes clash with human rights. In late 2012, US President Barack Obama traveled to Myanmar to meet his counterpart, Tien Sen. Following reforms and the release of political prisoners, Myanmar has been praised for its newfound respect for human rights. It has been largely overlooked that President Tien Sen considers most Rohingya illegal immigrants who should be deported. It took four days on the open sea for Mohammed Islam and his family to reach Bangladesh. They found sanctuary, but left behind their homes, livelihood, and loved ones. The Bangladesh government considers the Rohingya illegal immigrants, as does the government of Myanmar. They have no legal rights and nowhere to go. Minara's father is losing hope. <laughs> <laughs> Janat Ara's friends had raised enough money to send her to Bangladesh. She was taken to Chittagong, the country's second city. As a result of her rape, she contracted kidney disease and aborted a pregnancy. <laughs> Zahid Alam's family never found his son's body. Bangladesh has loved our the 